guys, um, this is my first update for Pan That Palette 2022. Um, this is a Size Matters Project Pan, Pan That Palette. Um, I forgot the, what is this painted by? Hold on, yeah. Oh, let me see. Um, this is a Fantastic Lady, Fantastic Lady Project Pan. I'm just put pan that palette. I don't know who this is created by. Um, but I will figure it out. I'll have you guys know that for next month. Um, anywho, so this is a pan that palette project pan by the Fantastic Ladies. It's a group collab and the collab hashtag is size matters. I forgot to put that in the description box or tell you guys that about that last month. There's a hashtag and everything. There's so many people doing this project pan. Um, yeah, so if you put um, the hashtag size matters or project pan um, or pan that palette in the search bar up there, there, somewhere, it should be there, um, in the middle where the search bar is. Um, if you do that, you can find so many other YouTubers that are doing not only this, um, version of Project Pan, but you can do, um, anybody else. There's multiple, do multitudes of people doing Project Pan, Pan That Palettes. Um, the first Pan That Palette was created by Amber F. She, um, panned her Naked Palette, the, um, OG. Why am I thinking about showing you guys my Naked Palette? Um, but, um, she panned that in ear, and then she panned her... Um, original Lorac Pro palette after that. So she is a beast and she is still Project Penny. Her name is Amber F. I think she's doing like a, a rolling Project Pan. She'll pan like three eyeshadows in a pan palette. Um, and then she's rolling them out. But um, yeah, check everybody out if you can. Seriously, go look it up. You will find hours and hours of project pants and pan that palettes and a lot of people are a lot better at that than me um but yeah um intro in um uh, <laughs> this is my smashbox on the rock rocks pot project smashbox on the rock palette um this was a christmas um thing Christmas release from a couple years back and this is where I'm at now I still have the protective covering because this thing is so oh, dang it there we go um this thing is so like um powdery there's so much kick up y'all um so yeah um for the most part I'm doing this Monday through Friday. Um, I have been using cream right here. I saw the covering for it. I still have been using cream right here. A little tiny little hint of side pan on this side right there. Oof, so much glare. This is what happens when you use natural daylight and film on your computer. This is what happens. I'm so sorry. Um, I've been using totally new. There's a bit of wear right there. You can't really tell. Ugh, maybe I... Oh, that's blinding. Okay. Let's just have that off of there. So that might be more helpful. Maybe close the window? Ooh, let me see if I can do that. Maybe. The one time I need better lighting... Ooh. Oh, it's stuck by that. Let's see if that's better. That's better. Oh, okay. There. Okay. So, um, this is the cream that we were talking about. Um, there's so much kick up from these shadows. I didn't realize how much kick up this would be. And I'm kind of nervous for my older palettes because this is not one of my older palettes. This is like in the middle of the buying thing that I'm still currently in. 
Um, so, a little bit of side pan showing, not really, you can't see it. Um, on this guy, there's some roughage on the actual shadow. Pointing to this one right here. That looks like it's like white, but it's like a tanny nude. There, there we go. Okay, that's what you can see. That's kind of what it is um, on the, what it looks like. Um, so I've been using that, and I believe I've been using this purple shade down here. Yeah, I've been using this purple shade a little bit on my outer V. <laughs> There's going to be so many funny like options for three wraps in this. A um, little bit of wear and tear. Not too bad. The mo thing with the most wear and tear is this shiny, sparkly shade right here. Uh, it's right there. Um, there is like a legit difference between this side of the shadow and this side of the shadow. Um, I was really nervous about hitting pan with this. Um, I just kind of use it with my finger and I'll, you know, blend it in and all that jazz. But there is so much kick up from the shadow. And I was nervous, but I don't really think I should have been that nervous because there's not a lot of side for anything. It just looks like it's there's like a dip there. That's a, a it's, it's a noticeable dip right there. Um, but yeah, I was really nervous about that. So I switched to using that one. This will be my highlight for my face, which I don't think it's a really good highlight, but I don't know. I'm nervous about like using up, which is totally weird because like, I mean, I should use it up because it's a pan that palette, but I'm, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm using the shadow. So, um, yeah, maybe I'll go back to using this as a, um, inner corner highlight shade where like where the, that one is, the not darker one, the lighter one is, um, this is a mess. But anyways, I've been using this blue. Oh, there's like a shiny gemstone in the middle. Ooh. <laughs> um, I'm, a, I'm a hot express. Um, but I've been using this blue peacock shadow. Again, I really like it on the inner corner. And I really like it with this shadow. Um, it looks really nice. Um, it's really pretty. I don't think I would use a blue peacock color, but I like it. But there was um like a huge chunk in here that just kind of came off. I, I think these shadows are so powdery. And I don't know why. There's so much kick up too. And I think it just might be because of the age. Yeah. <laughs> this is why you don't buy a lot of makeup at one time. Bad influence. <laughs> but um yeah, that's where I... Oh, and I've been using this one. Using this one as my brow, my brow shadow pan, and there's some wear and tear in there. But yeah, basically this is what it looks like. Um, we're getting some wear, we're getting some tear. Not any actual like pan pan, but we do have side pan a little bit on the cream. So I need to start working more on that, and we have a dip over. On this guy right there so I'm working on it I'm using it um, Monday through Friday as much as I can I do have classes on Monday and Wednesdays and I don't get home until like 8 and so I don't wear makeup Monday and Wednesdays just because like I'm still wearing a mask Monday through Friday um, I did get the booster not the booster but I got um, my vaccine yay but I'm still nervous about not wearing the mask because Omicron's around. So, and plus I have to wear it for school. So even if I do, like, do full face and makeup, you know, Monday and Wednesday, I would still have to put a mask on and then, you know, foundation and blush and all that jazz would get on the mask. And I don't really want to risk that. But, but, um, yeah, Monday through Friday, besides Monday and Wednesdays, I'm using this guy. Um... Yeah, it's a lot of shadow to work with. Um, I kind of want to theme it out and do like some of these purples for um, 
the Valentine's Day, but I don't know. I feel like I know I'm going to still be using this for my, to set my base. And I want to use this in my outer crease. And... I don't know. I feel like the purples aren't that appealing to me right now. Maybe. I'll see what I can see when I get there. Um, maybe you might want to use this blue. Or this blue. I don't know. I want to maybe try a new eye look this month. See how that goes. Just so, you know, I'm getting used to that out of everything. And I can play around. But, um, yeah, this is the Hot Mix Express. Um, update one, there's not a lot to show you, um, besides wear and tear. And that's, I'm okay with that. I'm excited just to be using this palette because it's been living in one of those baskets over there. I have baskets over there. Um, it's been living in a basket, kind of slowly dying. I mean, occasionally I would take this out and use it for stop my stash, but I mean, this is the most love that it's gotten in years and I'm excited for that. And I'm okay if I just use these shadows and give love to it all equally and I don't have pan on it. I know that's a terrible thing to say as a project painter. But, um, you know, I'm trying as I go. I only finished one shadow last year. And I hit pan on five, so I'm a slow painter. What can I tell you? Um, but yeah, that's what we got all going on with us for with us for me for um pan that palette it's a little hot mess express there's not much progress but there is hope and we are trying as we go all right bye guys